Hello guys, welcome back to Rootset. In this video, I will be focusing on wireless communication and by the end of this video, I will show you how you can increase the range of your Wi-Fi network by simply changing the Wi-Fi antenna without spending money on costly Wi-Fi routers. If you are new to this channel, just to let you know that we will be posting Kali Linux, Wi-Fi, Arduino, Raspberry Pi and other hacking projects and tutorials using latest Wi-Fi adapters and tools every week. So make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button here so that you won't miss the future videos. So let's get started. Wireless communication was a revolutionary technology that changed the way we share information. Wireless communication means the transfer of information from one device to another that are not physically connected to each other by means of an electrical wire or a conductor. This is how a simple wireless communication system looks like. In this model, the sound is captured and converted to electrical signals using microphone which is amplified and modulated using a transmitter circuit. This electrical signal is sent to the antenna and these antennas convert these signals to EM waves and is radiated into the atmosphere. The receiving antenna captures these signals and is converted back to electrical signals. These modulated signals are demodulated using the demodulation circuit, amplified and is fed to the loudspeaker which will convert it back to sound. What is antenna? Simply speaking, antenna is a device which converts electrical signals to EM waves or vice versa. In the case of a transmitting antenna, the electrical signal from the transmitting circuit is converted to EM waves and is radiated into the atmosphere. While the receiving antenna captures these EM waves from the atmosphere and is converted back to electrical signals for further processing. The shape and dimension of various parts of the antenna depends upon the frequency of the EM waves that are being transmitted. Almost all the wireless communication devices that are separated by a considerable distance requires antenna of some kind. Sometimes this antenna will be external and can be observed easily like routers while some are etched in the PCB of the module itself. Now let us talk about Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a wireless networking technology that employs RF or radio waves in the range of 2.4 GHz and or 5 GHz to provide ultra-fast network communication to various devices such as PCs, mobile phones, printers, etc. Devices in a Wi-Fi network are connected together wirelessly for the purpose of sharing resources and information. Using Wi-Fi, people can communicate with each other across the world at very low cost using services like chat and email. Devices like printers, scanners and other hardware can be shared easily without using any cables hanging around. I have written a long article that explains Wi-Fi standards, security and routers in my blog. So if you want to learn more about this, please feel free to check that. I have provided the link in the description, please go check it out. Now we will talk about Wi-Fi antennas. Wi-Fi works similar to the previously mentioned communication block diagram, but instead of voice, we will be transmitting network data packets. Wi-Fi uses a frequency of 2.4 GHz and or 5 GHz as mentioned earlier. The antennas are designed depending upon the frequency of the signals to be transmitted or received, which means we cannot use 2.4 GHz antenna in the place of 5 GHz antenna and vice versa. The signal range of an antenna is measured using a parameter called power gain which tells us about the effectiveness of an antenna when compared to that of a standard reference antenna. It is measured in decibels. Most of the manufacturers use a value called dBi for measuring the strength of an antenna. dBi is the gain of an antenna compared to that of an isotropic radiator. The higher the value of the dBi, the greater will be the area of coverage. Now let us talk about Wi-Fi signal strength. You might be having the world's best Wi-Fi router but if it is not optimized, you will be getting very pathetic results such as poor Wi-Fi range, low speed internet etc. The Wi-Fi router works best only when all the parameters such as Wi-Fi antenna position, Wi-Fi antenna pointing direction, Wi-Fi router position, Wi-Fi security and Wi-Fi antenna orientation is done correctly. And yes, Wi-Fi security does affect the throughput. If you want to make use of your Wi-Fi router's full potential and have high speed internet with long signal coverage, do check out this page. Here, I have explained all the parameters in detail and have included tips to increase the Wi-Fi range, speed and troubleshoot your wireless network. 
Increase Wi-Fi speed and range of your Wi-Fi router using external antenna. Usually, the Wi-Fi router antennas provided by the manufacturers will be having 2 dBi or 3 dBi power gain, which is very low when compared to the currently available antennas on the market. Some of the Wi-Fi routers allow you to change the stock antenna that comes with the router. So, if you have a router that supports removable antennas, you can get a higher gain antenna like a 5 dBi or a 7 dBi that will significantly increase Wi-Fi range. In the next video, I will show you the latest hacks you can do with your Wi-Fi router to increase the Wi-Fi range and get high speed network connectivity. Make sure you don't miss the future videos. Subscribe our channel by clicking the subscribe button here and stay tuned for more videos. Rootset signing off.